Hello everyone, I'm Alex from Propedia. This channel is actually created to share in-depth research of all the properties across Singapore. And today I'm going to share on a project called Panorama. Located in Amokyo with 698 units, TOP in 2019 and ranging from 1 to 5 bedroom. Today, I'm going to touch on the 4 and 5 bedroom analysis. And I'm going to use these three factors to help you determine your profit. So the first factor is layout and emotion. Second, the affordability of the units. And third is the price increment of the development. The first factor I'm going to talk about today is the layout. There's five types of layout we are going to run through. Three types of four bedroom, one type of five bedroom, which is the only stack in Panorama, and one particular penthouse. So why am I going through the transaction of this penthouse? Because it is the only one with a transaction in the resale market. The four bedroom layout we have 1313 square feet, 1324 square feet, and 1335 square feet. If you look at all three layouts, you can see clearly they don't have much of a differences. So in fact, the main difference comes from the 4 versus the 5 and the 5 versus the penthouse. Let's first compare the 4 bedroom 1335 square feet and the 5 bedroom 1561 square feet. Look at both floor plan, they both have a wide frontage living room. So the only difference that they have is the 5 bedroom come with a junior master which is very rarely seen in the market and very desirable in the market. In Panorama, we only got a handful of units of this layout. So in fact, later I'm going to show you that this caused them to make the most profit in this development. If you look at the top 5 profitable transactions, 4 of them are the 5 bedroom and in fact, they are transacting at 1,005 plus, which is the highest among all bedroom type in Panorama. So the key question is, why is that so? Because there is a lot of emotion aspect coming to this kind of layout that we are talking about. So in a resale market, buyers buy through a lot of emotions. And if there is a lack of supply of a particular type of floor plans, buyers is willing to pay higher than the market price to buy a unit here. Now I'm going to compare the 5 bedroom 1561 square feet and the penthouse 2239 square feet. If you look at the profitable transaction, the penthouse has made about close to $290,000 which is much lower than the 5 bedroom. Second factor I'm going to run through today is the affordability of the unit. So I'm going to run through the same example which is the 5 bedroom and the penthouse and show you why the 5 bedroom actually make more money than the penthouse. So if you look at the resale price with a profit of close to $530,000, the 5 bedroom is transacting at $2.35 million whereas the penthouse is transacting at close to $3.2 million with a mere $290,000 profit. So why is the difference? Because in a resale market, in a mass market like that, the prices of $3.2 million is too far-fetched for a lot of buyers in that vicinity. So your buyer's pool is very small compared to the 5 bedroom of 2 point plus over million dollars. So there is difficulties in terms of getting a buyer to buy over your penthouse in future. So whenever you want to buy a property in the mass market, you really need to understand one thing, which is your surrounding. How many of the people around there can afford to buy over the condo from you with a profit that is built in for you? So the last factor I'm going to go through today is the price increment of a development. So if you look at Panorama, the price maintained at 1,200 plus per square foot all the way across until 2017, you see there's a price hike to 1004 plus per square foot. And now I want to pull out the 5 bedroom increment in prices. From 2016, it's at the average of 1002 plus, 
until the mid of 2017, about April 2017, you see the price is still at $1,300 per square foot. But in the last few months, the prices shoot up to $1,458 at the highest point. So what is happening? As most of the developers know that at the first launch, the 4 and 5 bedroom were not performed as most of the buyers will only come in at the later stage of the launch as they need the house for own stay. So the price increment will come in especially for the bigger unit at the later stage of the launch. So if you are a buyer today and you are thinking about buying a big unit with profit in mind, my advice is to come in earlier so that you can enjoy a discount in terms of the prices. But if you look at this transaction at 1442 per square foot, coming in at the later part of the launch, he still made a profit of more than $200,000. In conclusion, my advice for potential buyers who is looking for a 4, 5 or penthouse in this development is to avoid the 5 bedroom as there is very limited supply of units and this will cause the sellers to push up the prices too. So if you want to look at these three layouts, you should focus on the 4 or if you have the budget, go for the penthouse. My advice for the 4 bedroom owners of this development is that if you can hit 1550 per square foot upwards, is to sell the property. Next, for the 5 bedroom owners, I think it is really a good time for you to cash out the property because you are transacting at the highest per square foot in the whole development. Lastly, for the penthouse owner, hold on to the property, wait for the right buyer to come in. As the penthouse pool of buyers is super small, the right one come in will give you a right price. That's the end of the analysis for the 4 and 5 bedroom. If you have any projects in mind that you would want us to analyze for you, please put on the comment below. And if you find our video useful, please click on the like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon.